wearing an earring can defeat me. That is, of course, Tyson Fury. Let's remember February 17th, Saudi Arabia. We had season continues. Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King versus Alexander Usyk. But all the marbles, all the belts in the boxing world are for the title of the baddest man walking the face of the earth. Two undefeated boxers in their prime going up against one another. It's going to be incredible. By the way, if you're a fight fan, what a day that is. UFC 298 going down in Anaheim, California. And the other side of the world, Saudi Arabia. This tremendous fight. Now, I'm a fan of boxing. I cannot wait for this. And this is an interesting one, right? Tyson Fury is the big giant guy, six foot nine. Usyk used to be a middleweight, then a cruiserweight, and now, of course, an undefeated world champion heavyweight. Tyson says that any man wearing an earring cannot beat him, cannot defeat him. Let's have a little listen here. Here we go. It's hilarious. It's just Tyson talking shit, doing his thing. And I like it, but let's have a look. I know he can't beat me. I know he can't. A man who wears an earring in his ear can never beat Tyson Fury. Ever. <laughs> you understand that? Yes. Yes. Not a chance. No one who wears earrings can beat no me. No man alive. Um, I can understand what this It's a Ukrainian warrior. So now he goes on and talks about his Ukrainian heritage and he says, basically, there's no fashion in this. This is to represent my people, the undefeated Cossack warriors, okay? And that's a very, very interesting point. I'm going to get to that in just a second. Listen, in Ukraine, it means he's a good fighting man for him. But where I'm from, it means he's a of an earring in. Where I'm from, you're just a pussy in an earring, okay? And listen, that's a great way to speak to somebody like Alexander Usyk, okay, right? Talk shit, be confident, right? Be brash. But the real question here is, what is the motivation of these men right now, okay? Now, of course, listen. Both men, they want to be the best boxer of their generation. They want to be the champion. They want to be the winner. When you step into a ring, motivation number one is to win the fight because losing sucks. You get your ass kicked. It's very, very painful and it's humiliating. Okay, so they both got that motivation. And now I'm not going to talk about silk sheets and all the rest of it. It's hard to get out of bed in the morning and go for a run. They've both got silk sheets. They've both made a ridiculous amount of money. Tyson Fury is a ridiculously wealthy man. Got paid a fortune for Engarnu. He had amassed a huge amount of wealth before that fight and this fight he will be getting paid massively okay so money's not a motivating factor right so why is he doing this okay it's ego now that's not me being insulting as fighters we all operate on ego it's ego that allows us to think in the first place i can do this i can win this fight i can be champion of the world you say that to some people they would laugh at you they would scoff they'd say this guy's out of his mind right so we all have that ego and we need that ego to reach these kind of levels okay but what's the motivation for Usyk, right? The motivation for Usyk is very different. I'm sure he's got a nice bit of money, not compared to Tyson Fury, but still, he's still a very, very wealthy man. But his motivation, he talks about it there. There's no fashion in what he's wearing. He's doing this to represent his people. And that's what he's doing when he goes out to Saudi Arabia, representing the people of Ukraine. And listen, as we all know, They've been fighting a war against Russia for the last two years. Many innocent lives have been lost. It's an awful thing what's happening out there. So he wants to go out there. He wants to take on this gigantic boxer, this six foot nine giant, beat him and inspire his people so they don't give up hope. I don't know about you, but that sounds like a more powerful motivator. Now, having motivation, that's all well and good, right? But if you haven't got the skills to back it up, then it doesn't matter. Well, if you look at both of them, they're both undefeated. Tyson Fury, a very impressive 34-0. Usyk, 21-0. Both of them have got, you know, about a 70% knockout rate, something like that. Tyson, 6 foot 9, 85-inch reach. Usyk, 6 foot 3. 78 inch reach so not a small man by any stretch of the imagination and this man is getting better and better with every single outing taking on top flight competition two wins against anthony joshua where he never stopped pushing the pace getting in his face and scoring a lot of damage okay last time out against daniel dubois got the stoppage in round nine beautiful display of boxing and what's relevant about that is that because Usyk is the smaller man and generally he's always the smaller man the style doesn't change we saw francis Ngannou go out there and get a split decision loss against Fury. Fury didn't look good. Fury didn't look like a man that had trained. He looked like a man that had underestimated Francis Ngannou and a man that almost paid the ultimate price to a novice boxer. Could you imagine the embarrassment? So, of course, he wants to come back and prove to the world, hey, listen, that was a bad night at the office. We all have them, granted. But what's his style going to be? 
what kind of motivation does he have to train for this? Because Usyk, as I said, we talked about what's going on in the Ukraine. For him, as I said, being the shorter guy, you're always trying to beat the jab. You're always trying to get in the pocket. You're always trying to get on the inside, right? So we've seen it time and time again. Beautiful display of boxing every time Usyk fights, right? Fast footwork, non-stop head movement, moving the head off the center line. If you're moving the head, obviously you avoid the straight shots and you're much harder to hit than a static target, obviously. He gets on the inside, he cuts angles really well. And make no mistake, the man has massive power in his hands as well. The jabs are piercing, the straight lefts, the left hooks, they're all very damaging blows. And after 12 rounds, you never know. We might see Tyson Fury sat down because... Some of the wins that Fury's had, and by the way, I am in no way, shape, or form discrediting his career. But the wins against Deontay Wilder, those three fights, the draw and the two fights, haven't aged too well, have they? So we're going to find out who the best is, right? But is Tyson Fury starting to feel the pressure? Or am I just reading too much into this? All we're going to do is look right here at this press conference that went down a couple of months ago. Usyk was all cool, calm, and collected, where Tyson Fury was losing his rag a little bit, getting in his face when they squared up against one another. You know, they're pushing each other's heads and all the rest of it. And Tyson, your little sausage, your little sausage, run rabbit, run rabbit, and all this type of stuff. Whereas Usyk's just sitting there going, you're finished, you're finished. I feel. I am feel. I am very feel. Right, let's have a little look here. I'm going to bust him. Sausage, ugly little man, rabbit. Run rabbit, run rabbit, run, run, run. You're fighting the best British heavyweight there's ever been. He went deep Tyson Fury yet, sausage. Look at him, his heart's pounding now. He's like a little sh with an earring in. He's have swiveled up now, they have. Little sausage. I don't, I That's don't see more speak. Again. I more speak in the ring. Get yeah, knocked out, mother And you two promote. Tyson's worked up there. He's genuinely angry. And look at the face of Usyk. He looks like a psychopath right there. Tyson Fury, you know, change. Like alien, you know. It was going to be working for me as bag carriers. Maybe enough. Sorry. Enough. Enough what? You stop. <laughs> Maybe enough. You stop talk? I come here to pick a fight. I didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Where are you going? I'm going to pick a fight. Didn't get dressed up for nothing. It didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Every time a lot of speak. But for me, it doesn't matter. When you sleep at night, ugly man, you got to think of me for the next eight weeks. Because I'm going to punch your face in. Believe that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Me here all night. <laughs> So as I said, you can see Tyson Fury there, right, getting worked up. Now, granted, you can't read too much into that because some fighters, they just do that. Look at Mike Tyson back in the day. He was a wild man. He was a maniac. I want your heart. I want to eat your children. But he still performed very well. And funnily enough, speaking of Mike Tyson, look at that. The shorter guy used the footwork, the head movement, the power in the hands to get on the inside and just obliterate a lot of his opponents. That's going to be the same kind of path to victory for Usyk. Whereas Tyson Fury is going to use that reach. He's going to use that range stay on the outside, pepper him at a range where Usyk can't connect with him. Now, all this means is that this fight is going to be absolutely phenomenal and I cannot wait for it. I love what Tyson Fury is doing. I really do. He hypes the fight in his own way. Here he is, Batman, Tyson Fury. And Usyk, again, what a guy, what a guy. February 17th, Saudi Arabia, I can't wait. Let me know, who do you think, who do you think takes this? Do you think I'm talking out of my ass? Do you think Tyson Fury has plenty of motivation? I know he has motivation, but Usyk, does that matter? The fact what his country's going through? What this fight will mean to his people? Or again, am I reading too much into it? I'm just asking these questions and basically thinking out loud. Because maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this doesn't matter. But when it comes down to this, at the end of the day, it's just two men in a boxing ring. And whoever's the best prepared on the night will prevail. It's not always the biggest man. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. But big men, right, they're a problem for a reason. So you can slice this many, many different ways. And I guess no one will know the answer until February 17th. But who do you think wins? And what do you think I'm talking about here? Let me know. Subscribe. Ring the bell. See you soon. Oh, 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 oh,